talking about uh, CBW3242. Uh, the Star Wars backlash is ridiculous. The Star Wars and Indiana Jones are the single reason I not only hated fascism since kindergarten, but even know what it is. Why didn't they think the movie was going to be a triumph of the will in a galaxy far, far away? Uh, something, something, core brand proposition, LOL. That's great. All right, I will do this story really briefly because it's kind of rich. So, basically, um, the alt-right, which you know runs the gamut from the emotionally, psychologically imploded uh, male to neo-Nazis to useful idiots of the sort of corporate far-right agenda, a lot of them are Star Wars fans. Now, this is ironic thematically because, as the IMer points out, Star Wars is a pretty staunchly anti-fascist movie. Um, the bad guys in Star Wars are called stormtroopers for a reason. <laughs> right? That came from the Nazi government. Uh, there is a reason that why the Death Stars are manned uh, by all white dudes. Um, even going back to the first ones in the 70s. Um, and there's a reason why the commander's uniforms are modeled after the Nazis, right? Like, this is not something that you need to find out from me. There's people who I'm sure know a whole lot more about Star Wars than I do. That it's can like tell film you a lot theory more. you're getting into now, dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is really high level. I didn't ask for a Truffaut seminar. <laughs> I asked to be respected. But um, basically... Uh, what had happened was, I believe it was a producer or a writer for Star Wars um, tweeted out an image of a safety pin through a Star Wars logo. And maybe you can double check that for me, Matt, but I think it was something to that effect. And then this is where it got interesting. Apparently the rumor went around that parts of Star Wars had been reshot to uh, include anti-Trump sentiment. Now... Uh, the uh, rumor was spread on Twitter that Rogue One, which is the next Star Wars movie, is going to be released this winter, which already is causing these people a lot of agita because um, it includes uh, Inside the Rebels. There it is. There is the image of the new Rogue One movie with the safety pin. Um, this was tweeted out by someone involved in Star in uh, making of the new Star Wars, I believe. And, um, you know, again, uh, I don't think that Luke Skywalker would be fighting with Trump. And I don't think that Trump would be like, the rebels, great. I think we're like, Yoda, I mean, he's so little, he's a freak. You guys are two. Um, yeah, so that basically, uh, it's already freaking them out enough that it's a multicultural film and there's women and, and, and black people in it. Actually, I'm sure that there's some really smart Twitter critiques that would make a great Dave Rubin uh, segment on this because this is obviously PC run amok and this is the greatest danger that America and really just the West as a whole faces today. But in a ironic pivot, along with the demand that supporters of Trump on college uh, campuses be provided with safe spaces so that they can support Muslim internment or just simply having no idea what the fuck they're talking about in complete safety. Now, as a result of that flag pin and then a false rumor about the new movie being reshot to include some kind of diss on Trump, there is a dump Star Wars hashtag Trump. There is a dump Star Wars hashtag trending on Twitter. Good luck with that, boys. Yeah. And good luck with that yourselves, because these guys are going to still end up seeing it, too. There's no ways you can die yourself this. This is Jack Posobiec. Waited all year to see Rogue One on my B-Day. Sad to hear what they did. Hashtag dump Star Wars. Baked Alaska. Stop using multiculturalism and an anti-American agenda in a science fiction Disney movie. We just want to enjoy a fun movie. Hashtag dump Star Wars. And, uh, of course, this is the original tweet was by Chris Weitz. It was Star Wars Against Hate. Spread it. Nice, dude. Um, and then, one, and then uh, of course, uh, the godfather of this, I believe, was or one of the uh, Michael Cernovich. Right-wingers worked hard and then get iced, get uh, geist. 
their money to, and then he misspelled this, and then give their money. He spelled it G I C D. What is G I C D? Give their money to people who hate them. V is next to the C on a keyboard. Oh, okay, I got it. That must change. Hashtag dump Star Wars for calling you Nazis. Well, I'm also confused by this because I thought a lot of you guys were Nazis and proud of it. The more that they retreat into their own culture, uh, yeah. the better. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri- subscribe.